Right now, I'm standing outside Canberra's most expensive house. Oh, that's it. There's a dungeon downstairs. Would you like a free steak? I reckon that was John Howard I just saw. The house behind me is worth... Okay, so this house is a proper, proper mansion. If we can, by any chance, just take a quick glimpse into the house. Cut the scene right there. <laughs> <laughs> you had a stroke recently, was it? I've had five of them. Today, I'm going to Canberra's most expensive area, Red Hill, to ask the locals that live there how they got rich. Red Hill is located seven kilometers south of Canberra CBD, with a median property sale price around $2.1 million. I decided to drive down from Sydney to Canberra to see if any wealthy Canberrians in Red Hill would show me a glimpse into their lives. Let's see if I get lucky. Excuse me, sir. What's it like living in this area? I've been here for over 20 years, been quite happy here. It's really nice. Yeah, it's really fun, good people. What's the go with the red and the hill and all that? It's just a red hill, pretty much. You like that colour? No, nah, not really. It's a bit satanic of you if you did. Yeah. Anyways, um, <laughs> where can we go and find some nice houses in the Red Hill area? Probably Mugger Lane. It's back that way, and that's got really nice big houses, yeah. It's just shithole here. It's quite a nice area. Like, um, you got a lot of the embassies up on uh, Mugger Way. NPCs? Oh, sorry, em embassies. Oh. Embassies. They said all the NPCs live in nah, Canberra. Yeah. <laughs> and that too. The person that actually is nice enough to allow us into their house, we want to gift them with something. So do you have any ideas on what we can do? I'd definitely go straight to our steaks, that's for sure. All right, so... We have a steak, a nice scotch fillet for the lucky winner. Would you like a free steak? I'd love a free steak. Well, do you have a nice house? Do I have a nice house? Do you? It's okay. If we can have a look in your house, then I'll give you the steak. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's not happening. <laughs> Fair enough. So guys, we've just arrived in Canberra's most expensive area. Well, I've got some, obviously, $50 million mansion behind me. Not sure how much it'd be worth in Canberra. Let's go find out. I don't know if they're going to answer the door. Oh. Excuse me? Hi. <laughs> Oh, God, I look like John Howard. He seemed happy though. He was like waving. He's like, oh, sorry, I gotta go, you know? Gotta go to, my, uh, to get my dentures out. I'm gonna guess the price of this house. The cops are circling us apparently. I reckon John Howard, I reckon that was John Howard I just saw in that car. My guess for this house behind me, I'm gonna have to say five and a half mil. What's your guess? Oh, it is Canberra. I'm gonna say five mil. Let's five see. Mil. Five mil. What's your guess? I'll go lower. 4.9. 4.9? What the hell? It's copied me. The house behind me is worth a total of 4.675 mil. George, you were right. <laughs> That's crazy, man. In Sydney, this would cost like at least 10. Anyways, let's try find some more happy Canberrians. It's got a nice fresh air to it, eh? You know? It's got the nice like country sort of air. It's got the more peaceful people and it's got the inbreds. So it's a perfect combination. Fun fact, Canberra is very close to Barura where we recently went and almost got killed. So if you guys haven't seen that video, make sure to check it out. Pause right here, check it out and then continue. <laughs> No one's home here. We did see the guy just leave. Okay, so this house is a proper, proper mansion. Like, I'm gonna guess this house is gonna be worth, I'm gonna say six mil. What do you think? I'm gonna say this house is at least, at least 10 mil. 10 mil, 10 mil brother. 5.5 5 mil. 5.5? Yeah. That's what you said about the last house. Okay, so the price of this house behind me, this mansion, sorry, is, okay, it's off market and it's unknown. <laughs> wow, okay, this was last sold for a million dollars in 1991. So like, now it would be worth, yeah, probably six, seven. All right, well, let's keep moving. All right, guys, so the only hope I have with this house, I really want to go inside, is the dog. Ni hao, ni hao, ni hao, piao liang. Wo ye shi zhong go ren. I think getting excited. Wo bu yao chi ni, mei guan xi. Okay, I think he understands. I think he's trying to get the owner now. Can I come to your house? He's thinking about it, guys. Oh, we just need that stroke of luck, which we get every single video. But Canberra might be a bit harder, bro, because everyone's a bit more like, a bit older, you know? Not so with it here. Might have Alzheimer's. Okay, so right now I'm standing outside Canberra's most expensive house sold for $8.5 million. Let's go see if the owner's at home. In Adelaide, the guys answered. Sydney, Melbourne, no one answered, so. Doesn't look very big, but this house goes all the way back, right? It's a bit lefty for an expensive house like this. Don't be scared of some scuxes from Sydney. Why are you All right, well, that sucks. But yeah, this is Canberra's most expensive house, guys. So I don't think anyone lives in Canberra. Ooh. Hello. Some cars in there. Just when I thought my luck had run out, we were on the verge of hitting the jackpot. Wait till you see what happens next. Bro, there's like a party going on here. Imagine you see like all these politicians like Julia Gillard, Tony Abbott, John Howard. Oh yeah, hi there. Um, my name is Jamie. Can you come to the front real quick? Just want to ask you a quick question. Hello, how are you? We do YouTube videos about uh, nice houses in Australia. Notice your very beautiful house in this area. And uh, yeah, just want to ask you a quick question about the house. Is that right if I ask you a question? Yeah. 
Beautiful. What was your name? Sila. You have no shoes on. I know. You just came out, you know, knowing we're friendly people, right? Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> no. What's it like living in Canberra? Oh, it's the best. Yeah. It really is. I've lived all over the place. It's the best. Very nice. And is yeah. Tony Abbott inside by any chance? No. Okay. Who's the Prime Minister now again? We're trying to figure that out. I don't know. They change all the time. I'm not yeah. quite sure who he is. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what do you uh, personally do for work? I'm retired. What did you do before? Oh, I was at real estate agents. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. Well, do you have a family that, that you live with? or Myself. Wait, That's all right. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I've got children. I've family, but they come and go. But oh, yeah. Yeah. And I have one more question for you. And I'm really hoping that you're the nicest Canberran we've met today. If we can, by any chance, just take a quick glimpse into the house for sure. the viewers. To... Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. I've got a present for you. No, no, I've got a good one for you. You'll like it. You're not vegan by any chance, are you? No. Okay, good. <laughs> Hello. Hi. I'm Jamie. Nice to meet you. Hi, Jamie. This is Nick. We just do YouTube videos. We saw your beautiful house and your mum, I'm assuming? <laughs> Friend. Uh, no. Aunt, sorry. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Jamie. Meet you. We're doing a, a video about Canberra's nicest area, so. And, and nicest people, obviously, now, you know. <laughs> okay. We've met you guys. What do you guys do for yourselves? You live in Canberra. Um, and how, how old are you? I'm 21. What's it like as a 21 year old living in Canberra? What part? <laughs> are, you, are you single in a relationship? It's complicated. My, my, friend, my friend over here is around your age, he's 23. So oh, there we go. I don't know if you go. think he's handsome. I'll just quickly pan the camera to Nick real quick. This is Nick, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Did you ever have parties here? Yeah. Oh yeah, when was the last one? <laughs> For your 25th birthday last year? Where next? I think George is, uh, you know, chatting up the, the family members. <clears throat> hey George. Hey, watch yourself George, alright? I'm watching you. We're professionals around here, okay? There's a dungeon downstairs. Here we go. Wow. Oh yeah. Almost forgot to give her the present. This is not vegan. Yeah, I got a nice surprise for you. Did you by any chance buy that pineapple from Adelaide? No. Okay, just wondering, that's all. Okay, yeah, all good, that's fine. Yeah. What was it aimed at? <laughs> I definitely personally would live here. If I could, maybe I'll ask you that later. But, um, off camera. I'm single, you know, so it's all right. So, Scylla, thank you so much for allowing us uh, to have a look in your beautiful house in Canberra. I just want to ask you a few questions. How do you think that you got to this stage in your life where you can live in such a nice house? Well, that's pretty simple, really. I did work really hard, and my husband worked really hard as well. Um, he's in heaven. We'll have a very successful son. And what does your son do for work? He is an investor. And so, before um, you mentioned that you, you had a stroke recently, was it? Yeah. And before you said you were a real estate agent, were you? Mm -hmm. Yep. And did you have to stop real estate because of the stroke? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah everything. Actually, just everything stopped because you had to have rehab because I was really bad. It's, it has taken a, a really big toll on my family. That's okay. Yeah. But life is for living and I'm one, put one foot in front of the other. I love that, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. After, you know, um, the stroke happened, um, how did your life change? It takes about five years to go over at one stroke. So I've had five of them. So I'm still getting over. Five strokes? Yeah. And I had a one big one when my husband died and they had to cut me open here. Well. to um, get everything working again so but you know you just know when you've had enough you've had enough and I want to live to look after my kids yeah but I'm very determined I'm very determined and I know a lot of people have had bad stroke they get you know don't recover but I did yeah how does your faith keep you you know positive and optimistic because I believe in hope I live in hope and joy and and peace and love. I, be I believe in that with my whole heart, yeah. and that's got me through. You're well. Yeah. After my husband died, with the support of my children, I got that little van at the front, and I went around Australia because I was lost. And my my children just helped me. You can do this, Mum. You can do it because you have to have really good support like that to understand I have faith in myself. So I'm really glad I did it. How are you going to teach your kids to get through tough times from what you went through? Well, I think they already have, you know, not just, I, I had a stroke, but my husband died of a really bad disease, it was frontal global dementia, and he was really young. What happens is it just, you lose everything. You can't work out anything. And he died a really sad death. As a family, we nursed him through that. That was incredible for us. And all we have is just happy memories of him now because it pulls our faith and 
um, yeah. I love that. Great message. And, um, you know, you've obviously been so kind enough to show us around and be such a good host in Canberra, which <laughs> we're so blessed to have, you know, met you. So, you know, as a token of appreciation on behalf of Nick and I, I want to give you this uh, 350 gram Scotch fillet steak from the local butcher. Wow. So there you go. I'm pretty pleased with that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, boys. Thank nice you so much. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.